to say, like John said, that was a dark age in our country's history, you know, and uh, traveling, I used to, you know, I started working in the Carolinas in the 70s, you know, guys like Luther Lindsay, you know, who had been coming up through the 50s, you know, one of, you know, really dark ages, and Thunderbolt Patterson, tag team with those guys. I'd ride the road there in Carol Carolina with them. It had to be so intimidating. You'd come into a town like Welcome to North Wilkesboro, home of the KKK. And you knew right then, you know, this wasn't going to be a friendly night. <laughs> well, and you talk about, uh, Jerry, let me mention this too. You know, you talk about Thunderbolt Patterson. And you know me, I'm just going to be straight up and tell the truth. Well, you know, a lot of people thought that Thunderbolt Patterson, by him being the black guy, you know, he would, you know, kind of stand up for, you know, for the black wrestlers. Well, that wasn't true. He didn't care about us either. He was all about himself because <laughs> one night, one day that we had a meeting, it was me, Thunderbolt Patterson, and Ole Anderson. And Ole was the grand wizard. He would call you the N-word even if he knew your name. He didn't give a shit. Just so the next... It. Okay. So the next thing we did, oh, we went and had this meeting. So Ole says to Thunderbolt, he says, hey, Thunderbolt, he says, how many niggas you think we need on the car? And Thunderbolt looked over at him and looked at me and he told Ole, he said, well, boss, I'm going to be the only nigger on the car. <laughs> wow. That's a true wow. story. <laughs>